Copenhagen gondola is one step closer to being built after the land use designation and zoning change passed its third readings at the RDNO's Board of Directors meeting October 18th. It's been a bit of a long road to get here, but we've had overwhelming support from almost absolutely everyone. Before the change can be adopted, conditions still have to be met by the developers. Uh, I mean, that's fairly common in development. Once you get past third reading, that's kind of the final major hurdle and then once you get past that there's development permit and building permit and there's lots of smaller conditions that are attached within you know that final uh, final adoption but those are kind of more common and the big big ones are kind of now hopefully behind us after third reading. I mean these are things we're always striving as hard as we can to move as quickly as we can so we hope to work as you know as quickly as we can over the next few months and hopefully cross off these final conditions and I mean, we would love to be in the ground at some point in 2024 and then I think we'll be seeing some people riding the, our first gondola ride sometime in 2025. One area of concern remains the Bailey Road and Highway 97 intersection, which residents say is already an area of concern and needs to be updated with or without this project going ahead. For Castanet, I'm Chelsea Mutter in the Regional District of North Okanagan.